Now the extra point. And it's 7-0 Buffalo. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They start the drive with Cook, and he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here, and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. On oh, second down, it's Cook again. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. To throw, Cousins. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. They go play action. Cousins. Now a diving effort right sideline. He's got it. When you're a player of his stature, you don't just circle the games on your team's calendar. You circle, circle the Pro Bowl? <laughs> Without a doubt. That's a game that you just figure you're going to be in each and every year. That's because of catches like that. That's why he goes. First down, here's the run with Cook. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis in this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Cousins. And Cook has it, left side. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Well, that was a beautifully executed screen pass. They let the rushers get upfield and get the escorts in front, meaning the offensive linemen, other blockers out in front, completed the pass beautifully. So now you've got all that open space with big guys leading the way. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. Cousins. And that's going to be incomplete. Good coverage on the outside, and I think that's where he wanted to check that down to. But once he saw the danger over there, he just threw that one over everyone's head. Smart play. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down at eight. now. Touchdown, Vikings! Tyler Conklin, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Vikings are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half.
The extra point splits the uprights, and we are tied here in the second quarter. Teams had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they've got less than 30 seconds to go here, so not a lot of time to work with. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. to try again after the sack. Allen, it's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Throwing now is Allen. Looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Eric Kendricks. And the Vikings are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right after 50. You can easily see the logic. It's a tie game. They just wanted to press it a little bit right before the half, hoping to get one more score. Now, easy to second-guess the result, but now you have to think after that interception, just a field goal, and they're behind at the break. Yeah, I think at the half, the head coach just says, look, that's on me. I wanted to press it, but it's because I believe in you guys. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. And that one will be no good. He never had it online. It's well wide to the left. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. Now listen, now no kick from 50-plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, and it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their backgrounds. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the 